Meeting him, he's been directed by some of the greats in as far as directors in film history. Well, I'll just give you a couple of highlights and then you can take it from there. Uh, let's go to Stanley Kubrick in The Shining. He was in The Shining. He walked Shelley Duvall and Jack Nicholson around the Overlook Hotel if you saw that film. He also he tried to survive with Leo and Kate the Titanic, directed by James Cameron. Didn't make it, sorry. Um, and also he was in Fiddler on the Roof. That was directed by Norman Jewison, who was the man who directed the film you're going to see tonight. So, San Francisco, put your hands together. I want you to make a lot of noise. LA was the best, and we know how we feel about LA. We gotta be better than LA. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Barry Denon. Rock and roll and story, and you were living in London at the time, 
And when they were working on this project, you were one of the first people to have listened to these songs. So can you tell us what songs you listened to? Did they have the concept already, or were they just demos at the time? No, no, they had the, they had, they had the idea, the whole idea. Actually, they had done Joseph first, uh, and done it in a small church with a, uh, with a children's choir. Uh, Joseph and the Amazing Technical Hour. And, uh, and, and they, um, I had gone to London, uh, to do the MC in Cabaret with Judy Dench, how about that? And yeah, and apparently Andrew came to see me in it, and they were casting this thing called Jesus Christ at that time. And um, Andrew called me in, uh, called me up somehow, got hold of my name, and said, oh, would you, I don't know, opera, and I, Jesus, and I wonder if you would come to the recordings. And I said, yes, of course, of course I would. So I went out, we all were wearing our velvets and basic chaperones and all that boots, you know, and I, I went out to Barnes, I think it was, and uh, to the, um, to the recording room, and they had only about three numbers. I, I remember Jesus Christ Superstar, uh, and that was done. And I remember The Crucifixion, and there were a couple of others, but the show wasn't cast. They didn't have anybody in it. And, um, but when I listened to the songs that they played for me, these three or four things, I don't remember exactly what it was, but I went, oh my lord. I said, I would kill to be in this show. This is really amazing. You know, they, they, they say things are either wonderful or horrible. And I think this is going to be wonderful. I think there's going to be a lot of controversy about it. I think you guys have put your finger on the pulse of something. And yes, yes, I do want to do it. I went to my agency. They uh, made a contract for me. And um, the next thing I knew, I was in the recording studio. I, I didn't even know which character I was playing, and it was Pilot. And they wrote, I don't think they wrote Pilot's Dream yet, but they did have Pilot and Christ and part of the trial done. And uh, then when I started to record, they, they wrote Pilot's Dream for me, and I was just um, in heaven. It was just really the most wonderful job ever. It, it got better and better and better, I couldn't believe it. And, um, and here I am today. <laughs> That's how it's done. And then shortly after that, you recorded the, the Brown album, which was the first yes. recording of Jesus Christ Superstar. Yes. That had Ian Gillen from Deep Purple uh, portraying Jesus. But that was just a, a recording, right? That wasn't, you didn't ever perform that on stage. No, in fact, the, the, the reason that they did it as an album first is because it was a kind of a demo. It was to show Decca Records that this could be done on stage and it was wonderful. So we made the record, Decca put up the money for the two uh, record album and we recorded it and they listened to it and they thought, yeah, this has something. I had been hired by uh, Norman Jewison to make the film of Fiddler on the Roof. I was playing the rabbi son. And it was very cold we were in Yugoslavia. And uh, the, fir the first day uh, we were outside on the set, Norman came over to me and he said, your record is all over the shops and Broadway and San Goody. I have an idea how to do this as a movie. <laughs> do you know this Tim, uh, what, what's his name, and, uh, and, and Andrew? And I said, of course I know him. Studio for days with him, yes. And, oh, well, you wouldn't happen to have their phone numbers here in the US. I said, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. They're at the hotel, I'll be out tomorrow. So the next day, I brought the phone, the, the telephone numbers. We called uh, Andrew, he wasn't home, left a message, and we called Tim, and he picked up. And I said, Tim, I'm in Yugoslavia. How uh, that can be. And uh, I'm here with Roman Jews. Heat of the night, the Cincinnati kid, Norman. He wants to talk to you because he has an idea how to do this as a movie. Say hello. And Tim and uh, and Norman started to talk and sort of left the room so that they could. Yeah. And 
Then the story actually goes over to Teddy because the next.